Today we're talking with uh, Luis Ducker, uh, uh, Chief Product Officer at Smalltech. Welcome to the studio. Can you briefly describe your role as uh, Chief Product Officer at Smalltech and uh, why you believe this is such an important role for the company at this time? So my role is in important as we switch from lab to production. So what I specifically focus on is understanding where the best product market fit is for a technology like ours and to ensure that we have the possibility to reach that. It can be a little bit tricky with a technology like ours that can meet a variety of different customer needs. Uh, so a large part of my job will be to, to focus, to focus where to start and what the product roadmap will look after the first product. How will you be able to utilize your skills that experience with a combination of uh, technology and business in this role? In the past, I've worked in the intersection between business and technology. So in hardware, software and advanced materials. And having both business and technology background, it means I can navigate both worlds. But I think the real success factor for me will be my genuine interest in technology and technology development. I'm no expert at carbon nanofibers or growth of carbon nanofibers, and I, I shouldn't be. However, I need to know enough about the technology to determine how we compare to our competitors. So both competing technologies, competing product offerings, substitute technologies, and just the future of the market. So I need to understand the differentiation and the value that we bring to the market. I need to be able to answer those questions. Then I utilize that knowledge to transfer it to, to business and um, projection, to business projections and to products. Can you tell us a little bit about what Smalltech is focusing on right now in your collaboration with Yageo and uh, what the main goals are for the rest of 2023? So right now I am focusing on understanding the product requirements and customer requirements for our first um, application ultra thin decoupling capacitors for application processors for the mobile phone. I think it is extremely important to actually go out and talk to the market. Uh, we get so much feedback from the customers if we have these customer meetings and collect their requirements that way. Otherwise, we're kind of working in the dark if we don't talk to the market uh, directly. And then I take that information that I learn and I feed it back uh, into the R&D team. And since we're still in a development phase here uh, and we can tailor our technology towards the customer needs, as I said previously, we're very uniquely positioned here to actually solve a market problem. So I'm very much focused on meeting customers and, and you know, getting us out there uh, so we can collect as much data as we can. And the goal is to have a product portfolio that meets the feedback that we then get from the market. Um, and at this stage, we're developing a go-to-market strategy together with our partner, Yajio, uh, to make sure that we have a market that meets the needs right now. And then we have a portfolio where we follow up with products from the feedback that we get. So in addition, I'm working with the business side at Yajio to ensure that they're really up to date on the latest of our technology so they can utilize their network as well. So we've educated their field application engineers uh, that is a global organization with global outreach where we've educated them on, on the full um, technology uh, portfolio that we have so that they can go out and talk to their customers. So either they bring us back data from that or they bring us back customer meetings where we can go directly and ask the customers about their products. This has been invaluable for us and we get a global outreach through our partner, uh, Yajio. Um, another large focus for 2023 is really getting engineering samples in the hands of our customers. In every single customer meeting, the customers are so eager to get their hands on these and to understand what they can do for their application or their, their uh, problem that they're trying to solve. And once we have that and we, we get back their test data, we'll have an enormous amount of customer data to bring back into our next generation of our product. When do you think you will be able to deliver the first engineering samples to customers? So we're aiming for uh, the autumn now of 2020, 2023 or now the second half of 2023. So both Yajo and the customers are really pushing us to deliver this as soon as possible. So Smalltech is working its hardest to make sure that we can get these to customers in the hands of customers and to Yajo for testing as soon as possible. 
Do you feel that the Yageo team is uh, as engaged and excited as small tech when it comes to the collaboration and bringing ultra thin capacitors to market? Definitely. Um, so both on the technical side and the business side, this is a very intertwined relationship. So I'm working really closely on the business side and the R&D teams are working with their R&D team really, really closely. So we're utilizing each other's capacity and assets to the fullest. And the functions that we're working with at Yajo are upper management, um, showing that this is a priority for them as well. So for example, the CTO of Yajo is very much invested in the technology development of, of our technology. So this to me shows that this is a high priority for them. Um, we will be going to Taiwan actually now on the 15th of April, um, uh, where we'll meet both upper management at Yajo, but also really important customers as well. And the CTO of Yajo and the VP, executive VP of uh, the MLCC division will be chaperoning us for this entire trip. So they'll be on all of our important meetings as well. So this is an emerging market and we, together with Yajo, we see that the competing uh, companies and competing technologies, they're investing heavily into this field. So it is of great interest for us to bring this to the market as quickly as possible. What does the day-to-day -day work for the collaboration look like uh, in addition to going to Taiwan from uh, time to time? So as I said previously, we work closely as we can. Um, I mean, we're dispersed throughout the globe. Uh, they're in Taiwan, they're in the, the United States, and, and we're here in Sweden. But we try to, to have regular meetings on virtually and so on. But we also try to meet in person. So for example, um, I was in, in Miami together with Yajo in February, where we presented at a conference together. And as I said, we're going to Taiwan. So as much as we can to deeper the engagement, we try to meet in, in person. But to be honest with you, I think that the, uh, the pandemic and the ways that remote work has evolved has been really fruitful for this engagement. People are really used to virtually collaboration and, and meeting up in this way. Um, so. I don't think it's stagnated in any way due to the distance. Um, it's worked out really well. How does small tech benefit from uh, technology development on the leading edge in the semiconductor industry? So looking at what's happening in the industry, uh, there's a lot of money being put into technology innovation since the demand for miniaturization with high performance is crucial for the next generation of electronic devices or electronics component. And with all the new AI being developed, even more processing power is needed in the same space. Um, and that brings up the need for technology and technology development like ours. And there are also a uh, lot of government incentives in this. Uh, the EU CHIP Act and the US CHIP Act um, has the objective of bringing uh, supply chain or parts of the supply chain, innovation and talent um, back to the US and back to EU. Um, and Smalltech is, is um, uniquely positioned to be on the leading edge of harvesting that. Is there anything else you would like to add to uh, give uh, Smalltech's uh, shareholders and investors a better picture on your collaboration uh, with Yagio and bringing your family of ultra thin capacitors to market? So I think I've mentioned most that's important for the shareholders to understand, but I would just like to end by saying that I see a huge potential for our uh, technology to match the problems that I see in the market. When I'm on these customer meetings, um, the reactions is hugely positive and they're so eager to get a hold of these engineering samples to see if we can solve the, the problems that they have. Um, and by utilizing Yajo's market and their selling channels and our technological expertise together with their technological expertise, I think this can be a match made in heaven. And I'm really excited to see how far this collaboration can go. Well, I think that's all. Um, thank you very much for answering my questions. Thank you. Mm -hmm.